الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد احببت في الله from the important reminders to strengthen the heart and by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come some of the narrations of our Salaf al-Salih Ridwanullahi alayhim for example the narration upon Ka'ab bin Malik radiyallahu ta'ala in which he said whoever abundantly remembers Allah will cure themselves of hypocrisy and we talked about this in one of our prior sittings on how the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can repel your sin and by remembering Allah tabarak wa ta'ala this is an exercise of the heart and of course al qawl al lisan wal amal bi jawarih that iman is comprised of statements of the tongue belief in the heart and actions of the limbs so by remembering allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and showing gratefulness gratitude to allah tabarak wa ta'ala and especially by reflecting on his signs and remembering him tabarak wa ta'ala by making adhkar a dhikr that this can be a means of dealing with your hypocrisy or repelling hypocrisy completely meaning that we all have different levels of weaknesses we have different weaknesses and different levels of iman and sometimes we fall into acts of hypocrisy perhaps for whatever reason you may lie and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned that that's one of the signs of a hip, uh, hypocrite ayatu munafiq thalatha o khamsa the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam he mentioned that the signs of the hip, hypocrite and i believe he mentioned it was either 3 or 4 sallallahu alaihi wasallam and one of those signs is that a person lies that a person when he speaks he lies so perhaps you may find yourself falling into an act of hypocrisy but you're not a hypocrite but you may fall into that sin you may fall into that nifaq al amali this this um hypocrisy of the limbs okay and one of the other signs is that they break their pro their promises they don't fulfill their promises so perhaps you may find that on one promise or two promises or three on several different occasions you may have broken your promise you not fulfilled it that means you fell into an act of hypocrisy but that does not mean you're a hypocrite So remembering Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala can be a means of dealing with that, expiating that, and protecting you from falling into that again. How is that so? Because perhaps you were going to sin. Perhaps you were about to lie, and then you remembered Allah. And then you just said, SubhanAllah. And you might stop yourself, it might prevent you. Just that, just the reminder, because the reminder benefits the mu'min. Ubaid ibn Umair radiallahu ta'ala anhu said if the night is too great for you to struggle in standing in prayer you are too stingy with wealth to spend it and you are too cowardly in facing the enemy to fight them so abundantly remember Allah the exalted Ahabat tafillah that shows us that there are different levels obviously there's different fadail fadail a'mal there's different levels 
of superiority of the deeds that you do, the deeds of goodness. Maybe a person has some weakness and some cowardice in their hearts. Maybe they have some miserliness when it comes to spending. And maybe that they have laziness when it comes to standing in prayer at night, you know, Qiyam al-Layl or even Witr. But however, it is easy for us all to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just to make dhikr on the tongue, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah, wallahu akbar. That's easy for us all. And we ask Allah tabaraka ta'ala, the Almighty, to forgive us of our many sins and mistakes. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم